Hi, I'm Scott. Today I'm going to show you how I renovated this kitchen on Dad Yourself. Hey, welcome back to the uh, home reno project. So today we are working on the kitchen floor. You can see right there, got the guys in there tearing up the tiles. So some of the tiles, as you can see, we have to hammer up, but others can just be picked up off the floor because the yeah. subfloor failed down there. So some of it will be easy, some of it will be hard. So check out this original linoleum here. It's pretty cool. Let me see if I can clean that up. Get an idea of the colors. It'd be cool if we could rehab that, but as you can see here, it is just completely gone. I like this detail right here. I wonder what used to be in front of this for that detail. Well, back to work. So you can see, got the hardy board down now, and we had to go ahead and undercut all the door casings for so the thickness of the hardy board and the tile that's going in here. And then we put a transition in there. Well, it looks pretty good. It's working hard. So they got all the hardy board down, and you can see they don't uh, line up the joints, so you stagger those so you don't get cracks in your tile. And now they're just nailing it down with what looks like roofing nails, pretty much. So that looks good. So the guys are moving along. We've got the uh, joint tape there so it doesn't crack. And then they're putting down the mud. So it looks good. All the way under the dishwasher too, that's a nice touch. All right, tile guy got started. We're going long ways in this room. Just makes the room look a lot better. Uh, using a quarter inch notch for the mortar. We've got a nice grout line there, and this is gonna look fabulous. Look at that. Check in on him in a little while. So, kitchen's halfway done at least. Got a little bit over here where the stove goes and the fridge and then back towards the back bedroom. Well, the tile is done in the kitchen, as you can see, all the way back to the back corner. I'm gonna have to track down a threshold for that door and that door over there. There's about a half inch drop between the tile and the original wood floors. But that's an easy one. Once this is grouted, then I start painting, fixing these cabinets. Check out that grout in the kitchen. This room is so big, he's pretty much grouting and wiping as he goes. As you can see, he's about halfway across. He's gonna finish up today. Not bad for three days work. Well, good morning. I am in the kitchen today. And as you can see, I've been pretty busy. This ceiling has some cracks in it. The plaster is old. So I've been sanding and patching and sanding and patching and going round and round and round. Uh, took off that light right there, just waiting for that. And then took off this light here. We're gonna replace that one. I've sanded all the cabinet boxes and faces. And those look pretty good. I'm gonna do a little bit more in here. I'm gonna have a crown molding up over here. And then I'm gonna take those curtains down. So today's goal is get this ceiling painted and maybe even start on the cabinet boxes. Let's see what we can get accomplished. Okay, so it is the afternoon and I am starting to paint the ceiling. As you can see, I'm painting around all the light fixtures. 
Why am I painting around the light fixtures? Well, because it's afternoon and I'm about to run out of light. So I'd like to get these painted and get the light fixtures up. And you know what's worse than painting a ceiling? Painting a ceiling twice. And this is gonna take two coats. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it looks really good. I'm using a high nap roller to give it a little bit of texture. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of repair and cracks and stuff on this ceiling. So, my goal tonight is to have this finished before I go home. As you can see, the sun is setting. We are now in this brightly lit kitchen. Nice white ceiling. That's an eggshell white for those who are curious. And two, two light bulb units. Uh, 3000 Kelvin, equivalent to 75 watts. And then one bulb here, also to 75 watts. And it really brightens up this room a lot. So you can kind of get a better idea of the color. So that's a gray and that's a beige. And we're going to make the whole room that color. So I'm calling it a night, but the ceiling is going to need another coat tomorrow. Nothing, like I said, nothing worse than painting a ceiling than painting a ceiling twice. Hey, I'm just cranking along in the kitchen. And I realized I hadn't filmed any status for you guys. So, look at this. Crown molding. How's that look? Looks pretty good. Got this all taped off over here. And I am priming the inside of this cabinet for its final coat. Hopefully I'll be able to get one coat of primer and one coat of paint. We'll see. Okay, so I just spent the last hour masking off this room and really all I'm doing is spraying the cabinet boxes here, here, over here, and over here. And I had to tape up the ceiling. I actually got a good little piece of tape right here so I didn't get any overspray on my freshly painted ceiling. I don't really care about the walls if I get overspray on there because I'm just going to be painting those in later today or tomorrow. All right. Well, I would love to show you me painting, but honestly, don't want to get overspray on my cameras. So I'll show you the finished product. So what am I painting with, you ask? Well, it's bare high gloss, not marquee or not premium plus, so there's no primer in here. But what I have done is watered it down a little bit, about 5% by volume. What that'll do is help it just self-level a little bit better and give it a smoother finish. All right, here we go. Well, hello. All right. I have taken down most of the masking. And I am going around and doing touch up and trim right now. Coming out sweet. It looks really good. That window right there probably needs another coat. This little nook right here is definitely going to need another coat and probably this door jam one more coat. Oh, heading towards wall paint, getting close. Good morning, everybody. And I have started painting the walls. These walls will be easy, same color. These walls are going to be a pain in the butt. As you can see here, I've already edged out and the paint doesn't cover very well the light over the dark. And this is Bare Premium Plus, no, excuse me, Bare Marquee. So it's supposed to be a single coat paint, as you can see. Um, wasn't going to do a primer coat and then paint. I mean, I could have got away with it, but oh well. So working my way around the room now. Have I told you guys lately how much I hate painting? All right, so first coat's on across. And man, every time I take a step forward in this project, this kitchen just gets brighter and brighter and brighter. So this wall probably needs a second coat, but this wall doesn't. And the reason being that one was already tan, this one was a dark gray. So I gotta do a second coat on this wall 
and then probably that wall back there uh, needs a second coat. Maybe a little bit looks like up there, but not bad. Uh, my only thing is I'm getting low on paint and I don't feel like buying a whole other gallon just to touch up. So we'll see how far I can stretch this one. All right, so all the wall painting is done. It's kind of hard to see with the sunlight coming in the window, but it looks good. That wall right there, biggest wall in the room, took the most paint. And the crappy thing about it is that wall is going to be behind the refrigerator. But you know what? I know it looks good. So everything's done, two coated. I'm going to have to touch up a little of the white, but I'm going to wait till I get the baseboards in because I have to paint those as well. Like that's going to need some more touch up. Some toe kick right there. That's not going in today because I don't have a table saw with me right now to rip it to height, but we'll do that tomorrow. But what I am going to do is start on the baseboards. And the only challenging one I think in this whole room is this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. There is a ledge right here from the original baseboards way back in the day, solid wood right there. And the previous person who put the baseboards in, all they did was come up that, and then there was a huge caulk line that was probably almost a half an inch. So what I'm gonna do is actually rip a rabbit in the back of the baseboard that goes on this wall and adjust for that, uh, that little shelf right there. But in the meantime, I can do all the other ones in the room. So let's get those done tonight. All right. I'm calling it a day. I did get most of the baseboards in. Like I said, I gotta do a rabbit on this one. And I'm short, three feet. So back to Home Depot in the morning to get three feet of baseboard. Uh, and then I still, like I said, I have to do the toe kick here. And I found out I actually have to do some toe kick down in here as well. But that'll be easy. Put those in, do the caulking and paint those and I'll be ready to move on to doors and drawer fronts. Will the painting ever come to an end? That gallon's almost empty, but baseboard's painted. Look at that, the stove's in. All right, baseboard's painted. Baseboard's painted all the way around. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna get away with one coat because these were all pre-primed. I may have to touch up a little bit here. This one got dinged up a little bit, has some dark spots on it, but almost there. So wrapping up the kitchen and I got to paint uh, two doors. One goes to a bedroom and the other one goes to a pantry. Uh, the pantry door, I only have to paint one side, but the bedroom door, I have to paint both sides. If you've never seen this trick, what you do is you put a screw in each end of the door and you straddle them between two sawhorses or some other support. And then you can paint the door and just roll it over as you need. All right, so today is supposed to be the last day of the project. I'm getting close. The only thing I need to do is put the upper doors in. I spent a good portion of the last hour or so putting in contact paper. Not much. It's like five bucks a roll at Walmart, and man, it makes a difference in these cabinets. It looks super retro. It looks really good, doesn't it? Then there, started ripping up the paper. Uh, let's move on. Getting there, getting there. So, moving along. All the papers out, all the tapes up. Looks good. Look, refrigerator's back in the kitchen, plugged in, all put back together. Stove's still there. And now I'm going to put the dishwasher in. Officially last day on the project. So I've spent most of the day, got here about lunchtime, painting all the cabinet doors. These are all the backs. I've already painted all the fronts and getting those installed.
that wraps up the cabinet doors. renovation was no easy task. After the tile center got finished, that's when my real work started. And after 10 days of paint, trim, molding, you name it, I did it. And here it is, a brighter, friendly, welcoming kitchen. This is the last project in my home renovation series. If you haven't checked those out, there'll be a link in the description to the rest of those videos. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, Put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notification. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.